Caravan Sarai music. Classical connections. Feel the music together. Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb is a tiny boy walking through the forest. There are so many things to see and sounds to listen to. Now, do you think you are listening to a happy or a sad story? Must be happy, right? Because hiking is an adventure for little kids. Well, let's listen to the music to find out more. Does this music sound like Tom Thumb skipping around and having a great time by himself, or is the forest road never going to end and he might get lost? I almost forgot to mention the crows in the forest. Will they help Tom Thumb find his way home, or are they going to make it a lot harder? Let's listen to the storyteller and Ravel's music to find out. Imagine a forest, thick with towering evergreens and ferns as tall as grown men. Now, picture a little boy far from home, somewhere in the middle of this forest. The boy is not just small, he's tiny, no bigger than a tree stump. His pocket bulges with bread, and with each step he drops a crumb. If he tips his head back, he can see <gasps> crows circling above looking for lunch. He's been in these woods before, but he's never gone this deep and never alone. His father is a woodcutter. The boy likes watching him swing his heavy axe. He likes climbing over fallen trees and counting the rings on fresh logs. He keeps walking now and until a rock with colorful stripes catches his eye. Then he stops, spins to pick it up. The rock is smooth in his hand. Oh, but isn't the forest so beautiful? He wishes he could say it out loud. He stuffs the rock in his empty pocket and walks on. He's trying not to think about the fact that he's almost out of bread. It's so easy to get lost when the trees and the ferns and the rocks repeat themselves. Every now and then he looks over his shoulder, checking. Soon the crows grow louder with hunger. Some swoop down and look at him and fly away. Their faces are mean. And the next time the boy checks, the trail is gone. The birds have eaten it all. He feels a slight chill on his arms. He has no choice but to keep going, one foot and then the other. And all the while, the forest is talking. The swooping crows and the quick deer, the busy woodpeckers and the slithering snakes, the sounds swell into a loud whisper in his ear. Go home, Tom Thumb. Go home. Would you help me remember the two characters that were in the forest? Yes, one is Tom Thumb, and the second one, someone who also likes the bread. They're the crows. And if you were the composer that's writing the music, what kind of instruments are you going to use for these two characters? It will be someone from the Woodwind family who is good at imitating the bird sound. You guessed it, it's the flute. What about Tom Thumb, who is sad, lonely, and lost? It would be an instrument that is good at playing moody, dark music. The oboe. My friends that are playing the flute and the oboe today also have two other instruments to show you so they could tell the story even better. Hi, my name's Beth and I play the flute. 
The flute is a woodwind instrument, even though this one is made out of metal. The sound of the flute is produced by blowing across this hole and some of the air going into the tube of the instrument vibrates and produces a tone. The flute has a very wide range. It can play very low and very high. This is a piccolo. It's a member of the flute family, and therefore it is also a woodwind instrument. This one happens to be made out of wood, and the sound is produced in the same way that it's produced on the flute. It sounds an octave higher than the flute, so it plays even higher. In the Ravel that you're about to hear, the piccolo is featured in a unique way in that it is playing in its low register, so it's a little more mellow sound. My name is Bill Parrish, and I live in Afton, Virginia, and I'm here this morning to introduce you to the oboe and the English horn. The oboe and the English horn are both members of the orchestra, and they've been members of the orchestra for many, many years. Probably one of the first wind instruments to join the orchestra way back when they wore powdered wigs. Um, these are instruments that are members of the woodwind family, and within the woodwinds, they are called double reed instruments. And that's because the reed, or the thing that vibrates to make the noise, is actually two pieces of cane tied together with string. And that alone makes its own noise. <laughs> That's the oboe reed, and this is the English horn reed. As you might imagine, the English horn, similar in sound, but much deeper in tone. Did you recognize the song that the English horn was playing? Some of you might know it as going home, and that is perfect for this music because Tom Thumb wants to go home. Now let's move to the music where you can be Tom Thumb hiking through the forest, leaving a little breadcrumb so you don't get lost, but you're going to listen for the evil birds and shoo them away so they don't eat your breadcrumbs. And what do they sound like again? Thank you, violin and flute, who are excellent at making the evil bird sounds. If you don't feel like walking, you can also play the sound of the characters. You can be Tom Thumb, who is moody oboe, and later, when he is sadder, the deeper toned English horn. You can also be the birds, flute, and the piccolo. It's extra fun to pretend to play the piccolo because you get to squish your hands together. If you happen to play an instrument already, I welcome you to pull it out and play along. You can also do some quieter activities such as just listening or draw a picture. In this case, you can draw a nice forest or a maze. Let the music begin. <laughs> 